What are the best treatments for one of the most aggressive brain tumors known to man? As a neurosurgeon, giving a patient a diagnosis of glioblastoma is probably one of the most devastating things that I can do. There is nobody that's ready to hear that they have cancer, much less a terminal cancer. Once diagnosed, the average life expectancy is 16 to 18 months. Only 17% of those that receive this diagnosis are alive in two years. And what's worse is it's the most common malignant brain tumor. Yesterday, I presented the case of a 43-year-old man who received this diagnosis about 18 months ago. He underwent surgery followed by chemotherapy and radiation treatments, and he's done relatively well. He's the father of four, and he wants to maximize the time with his kids before he succumbs to this disease. And that came to a screeching halt once a surveillance MRI was done that showed this. He had a massive recurrence of his brain tumor. Some people might say he's fought the good fight. It's been 18 months, which is the average prognosis. So now it's time to call in palliative and hospice treatment. But is there any other treatments we can offer at this point? He is not ready to hang it up. Cancer treatment has come a long way, but when we talk about treatments for glioblastoma, we really haven't come a long way. There are clinical trials and other studies that are in progress that show good promise, but if we talk about FDA clear treatment options, here is our progress over the past 40 years, with one exception. Gametal therapy is the only FDA clear treatment for glioblastoma within the past 12 years. What's Gametal? Is it kind of like gamma knife treatment? Kind of, but it's more of a one and done radiation treatment that can be implanted in a patient's brain at the time of surgery. They are bioresorbable collagen tiles that are embedded with brachytherapy sources. Basically, these little tiles that are about this big are soaked in radiation. Essentially what the surgeon does is there's a surface of the brain that's left after the brain tumor is removed. And we take several of these tiles and lay them side by side to span and cover that area of the surgical bed. So it delivers radiation right where the tumor was removed. It delivers directed radiation within five millimeters deep of around where those tiles are implanted. And most of the radiation is delivered within six weeks. That means about 95% of that radiation is delivered within six weeks and then your body can resorb those tiles. Why is this any better than regular radiation? And why would it make a difference? Typical traditional radiation treatments for a patient with glioblastoma has to start way after the wound has healed, which is typically four to six weeks. We know that no surgical resection is 100% because there is always tumor cells that are left behind and glioblastoma have little fingerlings that project into the brain. So if we give it four to six weeks, that is potentially even time for the tumor to regrow. But if the treatment is started right at the time of surgery, the treatment begins immediately. Not to mention you don't have the side effects of traditional radiation like scalp thinning and hair loss. And the patient that was recently diagnosed with cancer doesn't have to travel back and forth and get exposed to multiple doctor's visits while they're undergoing their treatment. Okay, show me the data. Here's the data on patients with recurrent glioblastoma that's treated with resection alone or resection with gametile. These numbers speak for themselves. And here are the comparisons with treatments that are also currently available. No treatment is a 4.8 months median survival Optune, which some of you guys mentioned, is a 6.6 .6 average survival. Here are the numbers for resection. Bevacizumab, which is a chemotherapy that is often used in glioblastoma, combining that with radiation treatments or gamma tile plus bevacizumab. Now, back to our patient. Was he a candidate? Well, he had already undergone his maximum radiation treatments, so gamma tile would be his only option in terms of radiation. Of course, these types of decisions have to be made by a coordinated staff, including neurosurgeons, oncologists, and radiation oncologists. We deem that this patient would be appropriate for re-resection with gamma tile. Here is his before re-resection and post re-resection imaging showing the tumor being removed and the cavity being lined with the gamma tiles. This is six months after his re-resection. We gave him that time with his family. This is his 11 month follow-up scan after that re-resection, which unfortunately does show recurrent contralateral tumor 
right here. We know right now in this day and age that we cannot cure glioblastoma. We want to give the patients their best opportunity to live the life that they want to live in their remaining time. That requires a lot of candidness, a lot of open discussions over quality of life, and ultimately compassion so we understand to maximize what we want to do to give the patients what they want. So in our patient's case, we gave him an additional six to eight months that he could spend with his family, and he was happy with that decision. Remember, we always deliver patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week, and I'll go through another case.